Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I am here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Virgos who are watching. First, I do want to say happy Virgo season to you all. I hope this season has been treating you well and you feel loved and appreciated always. But yes, happy birthday to you, Virgo. So Virgo, this will be a general love tarot reading for your sign. If you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading might resonate or apply to you. In this reading, Virgo, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently. Before I do go ahead and get started with your reading, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Virgo, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright, Virgo, so let's go ahead and get into your reading let's check in on the energy that we have coming towards you in regards to love can we please get a few cards for virgo what energy is coming virgo's way and who's this person that is approaching them okay we have the six of wands first card that came out all right can we please get a few more cards for virgo Let's see what else we have. Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards, please. In regards to the Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Star card. Can we please get some more cards regarding this energy and this person coming towards Virgo? Okay, so a couple cards came out, Virgo. I'm going to take what was on the top leading out we do have the five of swords okay virgo i'm actually going to keep all of these cards i i feel like with the tower five of wands and the five of swords there may have been an ending that that recently happened here can we please get a few more cards for virgo judgment Let's just get one more card, please, regarding this energy. We have the Knight of Cups. So, Virgo, to get started, we have the Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Star card. We also have Judgment, Knight of Cups. The Tower, Five of Swords, and Five of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So, Virgo, um, I... With these cards, they all came out in a row, like stacked upon one another. There might be two separate energies I'll be describing, um, but I might intermingle it with this, this spread here. But to get started with these cards, Virgo, I feel like there was an ending for some of my Virgos watching, an ending um, that really crushed everything with, with this person and this connection. Um, just something that you didn't want to happen. Maybe it was unexpected, Virgo. But I, I feel like once you, if this energy applies to you, um, this hurt you, Virgo. And of course, only take what resonates for you. But with the Five of Wands, there was maybe a lot of back and forth with this person or like you, Virgo, you didn't appreciate what what happened here if this person directly did something to hurt you um so it's like you were you were combating the energy that was just given to you five of swords virgo i feel like you may have released this person um but then again you put your love you put your feelings into this so it might have you looking back not wanting to reconcile but more like why why did this happen what happened like just some some final thoughts 
especially if this was out of the blue um but it's like you cut that person cut that connection out of your life but you might still be like dealing with closure from it or just like I said thinking like what happened why did this have to happen but I, I do feel like whether it's this person from the past or somebody new Virgo and that's kind of where the, these energies intertwine with um, one another I feel like there is somebody like wanting to come towards you um, somebody looking at you from afar like when I first saw the six of wands it's like somebody is idolizing you like scoping you out checking you out um somebody who thinks very highly of you so it could be this past person could be a new person coming towards you um but i feel like there is potential for a very fulfilling divine type of connection maybe an energy that differs from this past energy that we have these two people, if there are two people in your space or surrounding you, they may collide because with the judgment card, I feel like divine timing is at play here. Um, if you were looking for closure in this past energy or in this past connection, it's going to come to you and that might be through an apology from this person with the Knight of Cups, somebody slowly or not slowly, but somebody bringing their emotions towards you um someone gathering up the words to say to you so that's why i stuck with this pile over here so there might be some past and new energy but if if the past doesn't sound familiar virgo i feel like there's somebody new coming towards you um with the six of wands and the knight of wands they want to start something with you sooner than later because they feel like this is a promising, fulfilling connection. Um, sometimes when the star card comes out, I feel like it, it's divine. It's planted by the divine. could be a soulmate, but um, somebody who is attracted to you on a mind, body, soul level. Um, so very much deeper than the surface. They want to know more about you. They see you, Virgo. If there is somebody from the past, Virgo, but I feel like they're they're looking at you from afar, like I said, and they want to come towards you with the Knight of Wands. So let's see what else we have coming towards you, Virgo. What else is coming towards Virgo in regards to love? What other energy does Virgo need to know? We have the Magician. Can we please get a few more cards for, for Virgo? We have the Hermit, so Virgo energy. The Magician, the Hermit. What else does Virgo need to know about this energy and this person that's coming their way, please? Four of Swords came out. I'll show that card a bit closer in a moment. The Devil. And let's get one more card for now. Anything else that Virgo needs to know, please, about this person? The Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, we do have Five of Cups, the Sun card, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So yeah, Virgo, someone might be like nostalgic about you, um, thinking about how they fumbled this, if there was an ending. I do feel like with... The energy I described, it remains the same. There could be a new person coming back into your life, but I feel like this is somebody that you already know that wants to reconcile with you. Um, I feel like they feel as though they, they really messed up and it's up to them to make it right, to apologize or to take action towards you. And it's like they know, Virgo, that you might be put off of them you might not want to have any sort of interaction with them but i i feel like there has been some time since this has passed since since that tower energy happened because you virgo you you were not okay with what did go down so you chose to walk away so there may have been silence from this person but they're coming back towards you with the knight of cups um 
I feel like this person, Virgo, Four of Swords, this might be a mutual energy here, but they like bring you a headache. Like you don't want to be thinking about this person, this connection. Um, but I, I feel like even after this time of separation, this time of you not hearing anything from them, um, they, they can't bear having it be like that. So that's why they're coming out from hiding, Virgo, Knight of Wands. And you might have taken your mind off of this past connection if it is in the past. But they're coming back, so it might be out of the blue. We do have the Magician, Virgo. I do feel like maybe your, your energy, your solitude has been feeling better, has been better since this ending has happened. Um, but there's... You're abundant, Virgo, and you can make anything happen for yourself. Going back to the star card, Virgo, I, I feel like this po the excuse me, this person had somewhat of an epiphany. Like they know that they messed this up. They they can't stand that they did that because they they let go of a beautiful person, somebody who was good for them. But if it's a new person, Virgo, coming towards you. Just take this reading how it resonates for you. But the Magician Virgo, um, although you may have had some ill feelings when this happened, I feel like it, through time you, you knew that you could attract the love that you desire. And this person maybe just fooled you to be a person that you thought that they weren't. So... Yeah, Virgo, I feel like the magician, this is your energy. So if this is not what you want, if this person, if like the history could not replace the disrespect, then do what's best for you, Virgo. The devil card came out, Capricorn energy. Um, this might be a karmic connection or a karmic for you, Virgo. But I feel like um, you don't want to go back in the past five of wands maybe even talking to this person trying things out for a second time it would not be the best for your for yourself in all aspects the hierophant this person wants to have a real talk with you a heart to heart reconciliation referring back to the bottom of the deck we have the five of cups you releasing um this person but remembering you you still have what you have virgo you are the magician so you can make something from it Seven of Cups, that nostalgic energy I was referring to. Four of Cups, if you are not interested in this person, I feel like you might be rejecting their love offer with them coming back to you. The Sun card, I feel like with you, it was it was a very pleasant, pleasing moment for this person, the Star card. So a lot of like um, regret that this person is feeling. Also knowing that they may not be able to make it up to you. Let's see what messages we might have for Virgo, please. What messages may be applicable to Virgo? So we'll take these two. Let's just get one more card for Virgo. Take that one. You and I were too young. Maybe Virgo, this is a person who has done some maturing. They know better now. I know I messed everything up. I feel like this is that person. I can't stop thinking about you. Nostalgia, having memories, Seven of Cups energy. Let's see what sign you might be dealing with, Virgo. Can we please get a sign? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have Aquarius. Let's get another sign for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius came out then too, but get another sign. We have Virgo. Gemini. Let's get one more sign for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius again. Virgo again. Sagittarius. All right, Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.